If you want to take a screenshot in Windows 10 to capture what is on your screen, you have many choices. You could use the screenshot feature found in many of the top browsers, but these are limited to the browser window itself, or you could install a third-party program. There's also the old snipping tool, but according to Microsoft, it will soon be going away. In this beginner's guide, I'll show you how to use its replacement, Snip and Sketch. I'll go over all of its key features, showing you how to capture and annotate screenshots of anything on your screen. Let's get started. I'll first show you the various ways to use Snip and Sketch to take a screenshot. Let's get something on the screen worthy of being captured. Brennan's Legendary Bananas Foster. If you've had it, you already know how good it is. Let's begin with the basics and open the Snip and Sketch app. In the lower left in the taskbar, go to the search box and type Snip and Sketch. When it appears, click on it. While it's open, to save you time in the future, go to the taskbar, right click on the Snip and Sketch icon, and select Pin to Taskbar, so it'll be there to quickly access whenever you need it. You have two blue tabs in the upper left. When you click the drop down arrow, you have three choices for when the screenshot toolbar appears. Snip now will bring it up immediately. Snip in three seconds and snip in 10 seconds will have a time delay. This is great for those times you need to interact with other programs prior to the toolbar appearing. For example, when interacting with the drop down menu on a web page in your browser that disappears when you click away. We'll just leave it on snip now. Click on new to bring up the overlay for the screenshot toolbar. Your choices from left to right are rectangular, freeform, window, and full screen snip. If you've never used a screen capture tool before, I'll go through each of these individually. Full screen captures everything visible on your screen. Rectangular lets you left click and drag your mouse to choose the area you'd like to capture and then let go. Freeform lets you draw out the area of your screenshot. And Window Snip captures the entire window of any app or program visible on your screen by clicking into it. Click on the X in the upper right to close out the Snip and Sketch app, and I'll show you other ways to bring up the screenshot toolbar without having to open the app. Go to the Action Center in the Notification area in the lower right of the taskbar, and select Screen Snip. If you don't see Screen Snip in the Action Center, it could be that your quick buttons are collapsed. Click on Expand to make it visible. For those of you that prefer to use keyboard shortcuts to bring up the toolbar, use the Windows key plus Shift plus the letter S. Once again, to bring up the toolbar, use the Windows key plus Shift plus the letter S. If enabled, another way to bring up the screenshot toolbar is by pressing the print screen key on your keyboard. I'll show you how to enable it. Once again, let's open the Snip and Sketch app. Hopefully you have it pinned to your taskbar, as suggested earlier, to open it quickly. In the upper right, click the three dot menu icon and select Settings. At the top, you'll see a link that says, use the print screen button to open screen snipping. Click on it, select Yes, this will bring you to the Ease of Access Keyboard Settings. Scroll down the page to the section that says Print Screen Shortcut and toggle the switch on. Now when you hit the Print Screen key on your keyboard, it will bring up the Screenshot Toolbar. Let's go back to the Snip and Sketch app settings. The toggle for Auto Copy to Clipboard should be on. The others can be left off Unless you're somebody that forgets to save your screen captures, then you might want to toggle the switch on for save snips. Let's do another screenshot using the app. Click on new. Let's do a window snip. When you get done capturing your screenshot, you can mark it up with the annotation tools here at the top. From left to right, enable touch writing if you have a surface-like device to use the touch-based inputs. Otherwise, you can use your mouse there are three types of pens to choose from, ballpoint, pencil, and highlighter. When it's active, there'll be a blue line here at the bottom of the button. Click on it again to change the color and the size. There's a slider here for the size. Let's mark it up before moving on. 
to the right of the pens is an eraser. Click on it to use it. It lets you delete selected annotations by dragging over those you want eliminated. To quickly delete all you had made, click eraser again and select erase all ink. To the right of that, you can select a ruler for measuring. Click on it again. It also gives you the option of a protractor. Let's get rid of this by dragging it out of the window. And on the right, there's a cropping tool. When you select it, you'll see white dots in the corners to select the area you'd like to keep. I'll drag all these in here now. When it's cropped to your satisfaction, click the check mark in the upper right. When you're finished working on your screenshot, in the top menu to the right, there's a Save As button to save it to your computer. To the right of that, there's a button to copy it to your clipboard and paste it where you need it. And there's a Share button to send it to someone else. Nearby sharing if you have it turned on. And you have the option to send it to another supported program. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up and share with others that might find it useful. Let us know in the comments whether you love or hate the Snip and Sketch tool. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our newest beginner's guides and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.